Today we celebrate the memorial of St. Augustine Sao Rong, priest and companion martyrs. The souls of the saints are rejoicing in heaven, the saints who followed the footsteps of Christ. And since for love of him they shed their blood, they now exult with Christ forever. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We gather today, and we give thanks to the Lord for the many blessings that we have received, and we seek the forgiveness which God generously offers us each day. Lord Jesus, you are the way that leads to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are the truth that sets us free. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are life that never ends. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who in your wonderful providence have strengthened your church through the confession of the martyrs St. Augustine Zwa and the companions, grant that your people, faithful to the mission and trusted to it, may enjoy ever greater freedom and witness to the truth before the world. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. Israel set out with all that was his. When he arrived at Beersheba, he offered sacrifices to the God of his father, Isaac. There God, speaking to Israel in a vision by night, called, Jacob, Jacob. He answered, Here I am. Then he said, I am God, the God of your father. Do not be afraid to go down to Egypt, for there I will make you a great nation. Not only will I go down to Egypt with you, I will also bring you back here after Joseph has closed your eyes. So Jacob departed from Beersheba, and the sons of Israel put their father and their wives and children on the wagons that Pharaoh had sent for his transport. They took with them their livestock and the possessions that they had acquired in the land of Canaan. Thus Jacob, with all his descendants, migrated to Egypt. His sons and his grandsons, his daughters and his granddaughters, all his descendants he took with him to Egypt. Israel had sent Judah ahead to Joseph so that he might meet him in Goshen, on his arrival in the region of Goshen, Joseph hitched the horses to his chariot and rode to meet his father Israel in Goshen. As soon as Joseph saw him, he flung himself on his neck and wept a long time in his arms. And Israel said to Joseph, At last I can die, now that I have seen for my son that Joseph is still alive. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The salvation of the just comes from the Lord. The salvation, salvation of, of the, the just, just comes, comes from, from the, the Lord. Lord. Trust in the Lord and do good. 
that you may dwell in the land and be fed in security. Take delight in the Lord, and he will grant you your heart's requests. The, the salvation, salvation of, of the, the just comes, comes from, from the Lord. The Lord watches over the lives of the wholehearted. Their inheritance lasts forever. They are not put to shame in an evil time. In days of famine, they have plenty. The, the salvation, salvation of, of the, the just comes from the Lord. Turn from evil and do good, that you may abide forever. For the Lord loves what is right and forsakes not his faithful ones. The, the salvation, salvation of, of the, the just comes from the Lord. The salvation of the just is from the Lord. He is their refuge in time of distress. And the Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him. The, the salvation, salvation of, of the just comes from, from the, the Lord. Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. Wonderful and great are your words, O Lord God Almighty. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his apostles, Behold, I am sending you like sheep in the midst of wolves, so be shrewd as serpents and simple as doves. But beware of men, for they will hand you over to courts and scourge you in their synagogues, and you will be led before governors and kings for my sake, as a witness before them and the pagans. When they hand you over, do not worry about how you are to speak or what you are to say. You will be given at that moment what you are to say, for it will not be you who speak, but the spirit of your father speaking through you. Brother will hand over brother to death, and the father his child. Children will rise up against parents and have them put to death. You will be hated by all because of my name, but whoever endures to the end will be saved. When they persecute you in one town, flee to another. Amen, I say to you, you will not finish the towns of Israel before the Son of Man comes. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's Gospel, Jesus speaks to his disciples who are being sent out as witnesses to Christ that they can expect opposition, they can expect persecution for preaching in the name of Jesus and sharing his message. And such has been the case in every generation since the time of Jesus. There has continued to be in one place or another, in one form or another, persecution and opposition to those who proclaim the gospel of Christ. We find some examples of that in the martyrs whose feast we celebrate today. They are sometimes referred to as the martyrs of China. Uh, and they refer to a group of 120 
who died between 1648 and 1930. So we have a, a wide uh, span of years there. Uh, and they were beatified at various times, but finally canonized as saints in Rome in, on October 1st, the year 2000. Christianity arrived in China by way of Syria in the 600s, that far back. Uh, depending on China's relation with the outside world, Christianity over the centuries was either free to grow or it was forced to operate secretly. The 120 martyrs that we remember today um, died during this almost 300 year period. 87 of them were born in China and were children and parents and catechists and laborers ranging in age from nine years old to 72. This group includes four Chinese diocesan priests. There were 33 foreign-born martyrs, mostly priests and women religious from the order of preachers. Uh, we also know them as Dominicans. The parish forish Foreign Mission Society, the Friars Minor, Franciscans, Society of Jesus, Jesuit, Society of St. Francis de Sales, the Salesians, and the Franciscan Missionaries of Mary. So a wide variety of people, some foreign missionaries, some native-born Chinese who became Christian. The one whose name we mention with this feast, St. Augustine Zhuarong, was a Chinese soldier who accompanied the bishop John Gabriel Turan Dufres of the Parish Foreign Mission Society to his martyrdom in Beijing. Uh, this Paris Foreign Mission Society is somewhat akin to what we have in the United States, so the Mary Knowles. They are priests of France uh, whose mission was to go to foreign lands to spread the gospel. And so this uh, bishop uh, was a part of this group and he, along with St. Augustine, were martyred in Beijing. Uh, not long after his baptism, Augustine was ordained as a diocesan priest and was martyred in 1815. As I mentioned, these various martyrs were beatified in smaller groups over various times. And as one big group of 120 were canonized together in Rome. Asia has known many martyrs over the years. Uh, Asian, Asia by and large is not a Christian continent with the exception of the Philippines. Uh, when I was in Korea, I had the opportunity to visit the shrine of the Korean martyrs. And then Vietnam has its martyrs, which are celebrated on another feast day, and likewise, Japan as well. And there are probably other countries where people were martyred for the Christian faith. The good news of Jesus compelled them to be courageous in sharing their belief in Christ. Uh, it was intended to benefit all peoples. And today's martyrs knew that. Over that, those 300 years of persecution and, and martyrdom, uh, they knew that they were risking themselves. But like Jesus says in the gospel today, they trusted that God would tell them what to say, that the Spirit would guide them and watch over them. But ultimately, they were willing to pay the price to give the last drop of their blood. We pray that in the 21st century, Christians 
may live in such a way that Chinese women and men will be attracted today to hear the good news and to embrace it. And likewise, in all the countries of the world where Christianity is a very small minority, may the witness of faithful Christians be a witness that enables others to put their faith in Christ. We now turn to the Lord, expressing the needs that are within our hearts this day, praying for all God's holy people. For those persecuted for their faith, for those harmed in their quest for justice, for freedom and dignity, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For families separated by borders, for children who must leave their homes for reunion and rejoicing, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For friends estranged from one another, for spouses in conflict, for reconciliation and peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those once lost to each other but now found, for those thought dead now returned, for thanksgiving and healing, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. For elders bent by age and effort, for youth made weak by illness, for hope and courage, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the sick of our parish, especially Tim Hewitt, David Campbell, Judy Hoff, Tricia Osuna, Maggie McLean, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially Father Edward Gallagher, Bill Jones, Harold Tillman, and all victims of war, violence, and those who have died during the COVID pandemic, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the petitions written in our book of petitions and all the intentions we hold faithfully in our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, our God, we trust in you. We know that you hear our prayers. Grant all that we need to serve you faithfully. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. And now let us pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, who is our almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, Holy Father, the offering we bring in commemoration of your holy martyrs, and grant that we, your servants, may be found steadfast in confessing your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. 
and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ, your Son. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song of adoration. And we, with all the host of angels, cry out, and without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and, and earth are full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the cup, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when, when we, we eat, eat this bread and, and drink, drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the cup of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all who serve and minister to your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and Holy Martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. We pray for the coming of the reign of God as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the, the sins, sins of the world. The world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take, take away the sins of the world. world. Have, Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. It is you who have stood by me in my trials, and I confer a kingdom on you, says the Lord, that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. O God, who in your holy martyrs have wonderfully made known the mystery of the cross, graciously grant that, drawing strength from this sacrifice, we may cling faithfully to Christ and labor in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Let us live this day in the peace of the Lord. Thanks be to God.